I'd like to go over doing a drawing in the uh, TechDraw workbench. This will be a quick overview. Here's an example of a, of a drawing made from the TechDraw workbench. Uh, you can see it's a pretty darn good module. You, you can do a lot with the TechDraw workbench. I, uh, in the next video, this is a quick overview in the next video, which I'll upload on December 2nd, uh, 2019. So December 2nd, you'll get a little bit more detail into looking into this, like how to use uh, symmetric tolerances, how to use degree symbols, and uh, use a, a quantitative dimension like uh, 3x. Uh, so we'll go into some of the details right now. I just want to do a, a quick overview of what it is, and to do that, maybe I can make a part. I'll start a sketch from the part design workbench. I'll do so. Uh, I think the top plane looks good. And I'll make a rectangle. We'll give it a symmetric. Maybe I can make a circle on one side. Shift V for vertical dimension. Uh, we'll do 15 by Shift H. We're going to say 20. I'm at 20. And Shift R. We'll go with uh, 3 millimeters. Shift uh, H again. Five millimeters are fully constrained. We'll go model, uh, we'll first close, and then tasks pad. There we go, ten millimeters. So we've got, uh, you know, a part to work with. Uh, why don't we start the tech draw workbench by going here? From this workbench, you have a few choices. Um, basically, insert new default page or insert using template. I'm going to use a template. The A4 landscape is very nice. I'm going to try the US letter landscape in this video. And then uh, looks like my workbench got a little bit messed up here, so I'm going to readjust it. I want to bring this stuff into the second row. This happens sometimes, quite rarely. But there we go. Next thing I want to do is uh, insert a view. Now the, the view that I currently have, and you can navigate between the page and the part with these tabs, the view that I currently have is the view that's going to be inserted. So if I want an isometric view, then I go to my model, I highlight my body, and click this insert view button, and there's my isometric view. If I want a view looking down on this face, then I have to go to my model, I'm going to go to the top view, and back to my drawing and insert, whoop, highlight my body and insert a view that's looking straight down on it. So you can see the view that you have on your model drives the view on your drawing. Next thing we'll do, we're going to scale this. Let's make this quite large. How about 3 to 1? So we're going to put in a scale of 3 and rebuild. You'll see it updates our scale. And now I can start adding dimensions. I can highlight this line and choose a vertical dimension. 15 millimeters and one of the cool things about this is if I go to edit my sketch and I make this 17 millimeters and I go back to my drawing it's automatically 17 millimeters so this is updating with the drawing as you'd expect from any fantastic uh, program uh, so I can add 20 simply by highlighting a line and choosing the horizontal dimension and highlight the circle and choose radius. Notice I have a radius of 3, but of course holes are better in diameter, so I'll delete that and choose a diameter. It gives me a diameter of 6 straight off the bat. Now I may want to locate this hole relative to this edge. I can choose a vertical dimension here, and I may want to locate the center of this hole relative to this edge. I can choose a horizontal dimension. This, uh, so anyway, th that's how you dimension stuff. It's pretty easy. Uh, FreeCAD has done a wonderful job at making a fast and effective, easy user interface. The next thing that I uh, can do, or maybe need to know rather, is you know my leader line is intersecting with my view, and it doesn't seem like I can move it. But that is no sweat, because I can choose to uh, 
um, hit this button, which is turn view frames on or off, that's what the final drawing looks like. So there's no actual view title that's going to show up, and all these thick points are going to go away in the final drawing. Uh, so that that is of no concern. Now this view I can scale it again probably three. And then I'm going to want to add another view uh, that I can show this thickness. I can add a sort of 3D view, and FreeCAD does a really amazing job but uh, at putting dimensions on an isometric view. But of course it's not very good drafting form to do that. And what you want to do for that is highlight your body. And uh, this would be a great starting point to do before I drew this. So this is just another method in inserting views if you want to do it in uh, bulk. Come over here and notice it gives me my front view, which is my current view. And I can check this bottom, which of course is a third angle projection. Come over here. I can do my uh, isometric. So there's a lot of very good options in uh, being able to insert projections. Uh, I can say OK, and I can get rid of this front view. I can get rid of this rear view. And just stick with this uh, top view. And I can specify a thickness if I wish. Um, you can do stuff like that in SOLIDWORKS. It's always been my personal preference to simply insert independent views. Uh, in SOLIDWORKS you can manually align them. I don't think you can align two views uh, in FreeCAD. So just old habits. I can come to uh, this front face and again the downside of this is you don't have the, uh, the alignments on your views. Insert well, body, insert, there we go, scale it up again, two, three. Next thing, this line for a thickness of 10 millimeters, and we're fully uh, defined as far as being able to reproduce this um, in any given way. You can click on these green things to edit the text and uh, I think that's going to be pretty good for this video. In the next video we'll cover uh, detail views, section views, special characters, and uh, we'll actually make a complete drawing. hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.